What is overclocking? Generally speaking, overclocking has almost become an art form of its own, which is widely exercised by today's modest PC enthusiasts. So let's take a look at the configuration first. The default of external clock is 272 megahertz. After setting the BIOS, we'll run SuperPi and see the difference between now and after. SuperPi is a computer program that calculates Pi to a specific number of digits after the decimal point. It is up to a maximum of 32 million. It is a good tool for testing the floating point unit of a CPU. Now we adjust the external clock to 350 megahertz and see what is happening. SuperPi is utilized by many overclockers to test the performance and stability of their computers. The fewer seconds it takes to run SuperPi, the better overall performance the CPU is running at. After tuning the external frequency, we can see the results. It is almost 7 seconds faster. We use a copper tube and liquid nitrogen instead of a normal freezing. Here we can see the original CPU temperature is 32.5 degrees Celsius. Pouring liquid nitrogen into a copper tube, we can see the liquid nitrogen vaporizing and smoke keeps coming out from the tube. Let's see the temperature. Look at that. Wow. It is a minus 174.5 degrees Celsius. As you can see here, we only adjusted the external clock with a normal heatsink. And this is where we can adjust the external clock in the BIOS menu. We tune the external clock to 550 megahertz. Also, we attach a heatsink on the memory. And we can increase the voltage of DDR2. Of course, it is more efficient by increasing voltage. However, improper adjustments will increase the risk of damaging the hardware. Let's see the results of SuperPi. It was at 22.593 seconds with a normal heatsink. Well, it is now 15.625 seconds with liquid nitrogen cooling. You can check it again.